Hello everyone, and we're back, and if you notice there was a key there, but I took it and it said, it's a key to the back office. Hail, Hail bitch. bitch. Hail, bitch. It's unlocked. It's unlocked. Apparently it's unlocked. I'm gonna close the door. Hope there's nothing scary in here. Was that blood on the floor? Oh my god, there was a murder in there. Just ship your mouth. Read that book. I'm trying to get back there. The hatchet is encrusted with blood. I'm not touching it. I'm, I'm not touching it. I'm, I'm not touching it. I'm a gerbophobia. No. She was a small town girl. <laughs> she were a lively one. She she were a lively one. No mistake. I kept her going as long as I could for the music was making. She were making such a pair of lungs and after I after after she was done I found these lungs on her as good as they sounded maybe I'll maybe I'll keep them her liver was particularly sweet as well I never much wanted to go to New York but if they all talk as much as this one I reckon I ain't missing much soon as we woke and saw these knives saw the knives <laughs> he was away talking and pleading and begging bargaining for his life all them words made him do made me dizzy and I had to take his tongue first to, to stop him in future I better wait a while after they eaten dinner for his innards stank awful the bones was nearly all out before he died I was real careful around the arteries so he didn't lose any more blood than could be helped. Helped. And he lasted a lot longer for it. The flesh moved on its own as he tried to work his arm. But with the bones gone there weren't nothing it could do, just twitch. I took out on the strap so I could move it free as I watched. The new gag worked much better than, and he was quiet in the last. Huh? I wonder what secrets this book holds. Well, we read it, and apparently he murdered someone. There are severed body parts strewn all over the office. What? See, see that? Did you hear that hurt? The heart, the hurt beat. That's Jack freaking out. He's like, oh my god, oh my god. The hurt beat. Oh god, I don't know. Hurt my dirt block, yeah. If you just how follow me, sir, I'll show you to your lodgings. I heard there was a killing over the old Waits house tonight. The dower. They reckon the old fool killed his own daughter. Caked head to toe in her blood, they says, and had to be dragged away, screaming and crying. I need to follow this guy around. I reckon there'll be a lynching sure for what he's done. <laughs> I took his. <laughs> uh, 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 Herping my derp like, yeah. Shh, 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 shh. Your mom has bad graphics. Damn, I hope that wasn't more than like two minutes that we spent. Oh my god. You're still looking pallid, sir. You're needing to have yourself some rest. Sleep well. And keep down the racket. Us Innsmouth are quiet folk. Can you get some like Oh shit. Okay, so that was a flashback I don't want to have again. Now, I'm sorry, I'm kind of... An kinda, old wardrobe. Can it just go? The room's cold enough without opening the window. <laughs> Nothing of interest here. I don't know what to do. An old chest of drawers. 
Nothing of interest. Move it. Move, move, move. Yeah. So look, it was slid that way. I see no reason to open it right now. We'll get the uh, scratch marks. I can't, like, I see the door there. I'm not retarded, but I can't get back. It's there. late. I don't think it'd be wise to wake the other guests. I can't sleep here. It's not my room. It's too heavy to move. I went to somebody else's room. Better. Not exactly safe, but the best I'm gonna get in this infernal town. Alrighty then. Your mom is a dead lady. In the bed. Shh, I was just making a joke. It's been turned out to be more de palatated, depressed, and unwelcomely than initially expected. The stench of rotten fish fills the air. While poverty and decease, disease lie festering in every cobble black street. Only a few of the inhabitants have been at all cooperative. Co co the others are evasive and sometimes downright hostile. My detective's instincts tell me that they're trying to hide something. Of course, I could simply, I could simply be prejudiced by their look and manners. They're almost ugly enough to give me, to get me believing those locals, those local tales of the Innsmouth taint. Even so, I've been able to make some progress. Finding Ruth Billingham was a lucky break. She's convinced me, lover. She's con, she's con, convinced lover boys. Still in one piece and being held in the town jailhouse. Blah, 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 blah. Rebecca Lawrence is clearly afraid of something, but she doesn't come across as the type that scares easily. But then, I guess she's not afraid enough to leave. She seems more worried about me. Then there's Zadok Allen, the old Remy. He's still willing to talk. All right, I wish I knew whether he turned to drinks because of what he saw or whether he saw things because he was drinking. The Order of Dagon, some heathen religion brought back from the South Seas by Obed Marsh. Rituals on Devil's Reef, those who wouldn't join massacred by some kind of monsters in 1846, it's also far-fetched. But what else could explain the thing that charged out from Thomas White's attic. If I hadn't spoken with Thomas myself, I'd be sure I was seeing things. Whatever's really going on, this place gives me the creeps. The nights are becoming stronger. I seem to... S the dreams are becoming stronger. I seem to spend each night in weird, fantastic landscapes with immense buildings like no architecture I've ever seen. And my body, in the dreams, it's so strange, I can't begin to describe it. Maybe it's some buried memory of, of all the occult stuff I studied when I wasn't myself. <laughs> and this spooky vision thing is acting up worse than ever. It used to be. I could kind of see what people were thinking sometimes, but now it's going crazy. It's like someone's watching me from the rooftops at all times, tracking me from the rooftops in the shadows. I'm so edgy, I can hardly think straight. If I could only get some decent bourbon in this miserable town, I need to track down Brian Burnham, and fast. The sooner I get out of here, the better. I'll make an early start in the morning. Dash bag and dash and bag and no. Dash and bag and you motherfucker. Nope. I'm not done. To investigate this house. The great city of Nakotas. Rest now, Jack. You are safe. What was in the light, Jack? Where do you want to go?
We are your history, Jack, and your future. I don't understand. You will, in time. Gilman, where have you put the outsider? Top of the house, room 401. Come on, let's have him. Oh shit. Yes, sir. Wait, wait till it. Wait till it. Getting dizzy. Stop it. I'm from the south, and I say Billy, big old Billy. Big old Billy. Big old Billy. <laughs> oh my God. Hero Billy. He got a big old Billy. Hero Southern British person. I can't move because Fraps is being stupid. Oh my god, fuck you, Fraps. Just fuck you. How much time? About. 